Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today I'm going back to CodeSignal to work on the SQL coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link down below so you can start at the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to the arcade uh, databases. And so I left off under the specialities and we're going to go to number 31 here. So now I should say that, uh, so this is labeled as easy, but you can tell by the code, I don't think this is an easy one cause, because I don't think people have really heard of these convex hull and geome from text functions. And frankly, I just looked up the solution from what other people got. So I couldn't really figure out uh, how to do this. Um, so if anybody has any information on these uh, functions and maybe can enlighten us, you can put it in the comments down below. But I'm just showing you what other people got, uh, and it seems to be the easiest solution that I saw. Um, so I'll just read here what it is. As a young naturalist, you've been studying the inhabitants of the nearby woods for the past several months. You've just come across some footprints you've never seen before. To learn more about the habitat of the animals that left them, you mark the footprints locations on your map. Information about the places where the animal left its footprints is stored in the table places. Here's its structure, so you got an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So it's just kind of the X, Y coordinates as you'd see in your regular algebra class. Now you can, now you want to find the area of the animal's habitat. You decided that a convex hull of the marked points is a good first approximation of the habitat, so you want to find the area of this hull. Given the places table, return a table that has only one column area and consists of a single row. The area of the convex hull, it is guaranteed that the resulting area is greater than zero. So you got all these xy coordinates that mark out the, uh, the habitat here. And then it says the area here should be 6.5. And so here's an illustration of the convex hull. So it connects those points. And it's looking for the area inside of those. All right. So I can tell you a little bit what the function is doing. So this inner part uh, is actually fairly simple. So the group concat is just taking uh, each x putting space between that and the y, and then concatenating them together with a comma. If you don't put a separator, it'll automatically use comma. And then it's concatenating that with this uh, text here, multi-point, uh, with an opening and closing uh, parentheses. And then it feeds into this genome from text. Um, so I looked up the reference for that. And it just says it constructs a geo geometric value of any type using its WKT representation and SRID. What that means, I'm not really sure. The con and then it feeds into the convex hull which uh, returns a geometry that represents a convex hull of geometric va value G. So you can see in this example, uh, that's why they put this uh, in this format. So you need it in the multi-point uh, x, y, comma, x, y, comma, x, y, comma, x, y, etc. And so that's why it feeds it into there. So you can see kind of in this, it uses that same genome from text. I guess uh, this this one is actually being deprecated, so now you actually have to do the st underscore in the latest versions of MySQL. So that's what's going on here, and then uh, it just goes into this area function, which is also deprecated. So now it's st underscore area, which by its name you assume that just finds the area. And so that's how this, you solve this problem. 
Fortunately, I don't find the areas of geonomic polygons like this very often using SQL. So this is probably a problem that I won't run into very much in the future. Well, if you could follow that, that's great. Um, as far as I couldn't really solve it very well, so I had to look up the solution. But that is the solution, um, and there's a little bit of insight into it, not much. But thank you for watching, and I hope you guys uh, tune in to some more videos where I actually know how to solve them. Thank you very much.